Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It is Friday. We just got the weekly closure on CMEs, but I guess I want to bring us, bring our attention right front and center to the green box of peace and prosperity and death and despair below the box, bad above the box, good. And actually, now that we're coming to the end of the month, I would say it's just as long as we hold this trend line to the upside on the four hour, uh, you can actually see the bull wick did get taken out. So did the bear wick. So quite a bit of brutal price action in the past couple of days. But I'm going to give you my opinion on the shorter term time frame, the higher term time frame, and just leave it off with a good weekly close because I think, well, we will discuss it here shortly, but needless to say, we talked about on the daily and on the two day, the bearish divergence potential. We talked about selling off the green 55 and essentially um, just don't want to see any closures back below this box, uh, in my opinion. Otherwise, this will confirm on a daily time frame. Any kind of a closure below that wick is going to be another drive of hidden bearish divergence. What am I talking about? Well, one, two, three drives does give you a shot to the bottom side of the range. And that is kind of my suspicion. <clears throat> Again, this is the major macro weekly time frame uh, trend line. And essentially, um, what you could see is something like this. A bit of a wick down, grab the liquidity, and then pop back up, reclaim the trend line. So I'm talking about something like this. We close below here on the daily. You know, over the weekend, mostly going to be sideways chop price action, nothing too active over the weekend, but um, a nice little pullback. If we can do something like this, tag the bottom side and then reclaim this trend line, right? Put in a higher low here. That would look good, really good for some more upside continuations. Uh, We're going into October. Historically, October, one of the best months for Bitcoin's history. Um and regarding, you know, weekly or monthly price action, let's see how the month of September wound up. We said, well, September is typically a red month, probably going to, you know, go down and then trade sideways after the triple witching or the quadruple witching we were talking about earlier this month. And in fact, that's what we did. So, uh, so far, so good. We just really don't want to lose this pivot, 24500 so um, that's, you know, another, you know, major pivot on the market. What else is in play here? In respect to the monthly, uh, this would be a bit of an indecision candle. If we close anywhere like this, that's what I'd be looking for. Indecision, indecision, indecision. And what is Bitcoin going to do for the month? Well, the month is not over yet. It is September 29th. So Monday will be October 1st. Interesting. Halloween is coming. Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's. Holy smokes. A year has almost passed us by. It'll be over before you know it. Don't worry. 2023 will be in the rear view mirror. Um, and uh, yeah, some more exciting videos going to be coming out here. I just shot some stuff, so I'm excited about that. Ethereum, same thing. Uh, Ethereum has this massive, massive, massive uh, ascending triangle, right? Ascending means higher lows alongside a nice horizontal. And as long as, well, we're caught in the range there on the monthly time frame. Uh, next month, if we close anywhere like this, you see a tick above 1690. Again, the month isn't closed. I'm assuming over the weekend, not much is gonna happen. Uh, because, well, there's not much news out there and there's not much major events going to be happening on Monday, as far as I know. Um, what else do I want to check out on maybe the daily time frame, see if anything is, and again, we're coming into the green 55. We said yesterday, probably going to get a push up there to the green 55 and a rejection on the first official pass. That I would be pretty confident in saying. So, uh, <clears throat> short term down, if we do just tick below yesterday's daily low, well, probably going to revisit this trend line right here at a minimum. 
at a minimum, but just holding this trend line beautifully. So uh, points for the bulls there and a bit of a massive triangle coming in uh, even on the daily time frame. This consolidation looks a bit sloppy. It doesn't have an M, doesn't have a W. Well, maybe you could call it a W, but um, it's just sloppy. So rejection first. Also, the dollar coming off a historic rally here. Uh, perhaps putting in a higher low again. And I am looking actually for the dollar to take one more leg up, even though everybody else says, oh, the rally is over. I think uh, probably going to take another leg up. Wow, Dow closed down big, 300, down 300 for the day. Dow's been leading the markets, and so is so everything got rejected. Weak bounce, probably a bounce up to 382, silver cross to the downside. To me, uh, looks a bit shaky there as well. And everybody talking about the 10-year rejection, the twos and the tens, and I'll end it with that. The two... Looks like a nice M formation. I expect this to come down a bit more, down to 497. So don't refi until next week. And <clears throat> this one's got more to go. More to go. And I don't know if I'll call the top yet. I don't know if I'm calling the top yet on those interest rates. Theta, SRM, Shibi Shibi coin. Bit of a... Looks like it wants to bounce. Um, let's check in on Bitcoin dominance and Tether. Bitcoin dominance helping out the altcoins. Definitely uh, looks like it wants to come down. I'd expect probably a leg down here. So going into the next week, uh, momentum to the downside as volatility is increasing. We're getting back, dipping our toes for the second time in the bearish control zone. So altcoins probably going to have some life. If this, you know, continues to be bearish again, tether dominance. Saw an interesting stat about tether, and tether is like literally eating the world. Tether is the the crypto godfather, the crypto cartel. I call them. Yes, that's what it is. I think everybody got bullish on Bitcoin and ETH yesterday, and sending. You know, so what is? It's easier for the market makers to take money to the downside. That's why it happens quicker. Oh, my first point here. So just looking at the RSI here, this looks bullish. Getting out of the bullish control zone, the bearish control zone, putting in a bit of an inverted head and shoulders here. Any kind of a close back above this area right here. Would you call that the neckline? I don't know. Let's see what the two day says. Uh, needs to close above the purple 200 on the two day potential higher low and the weekly let's check out the weekly another indecision candle we definitely don't want to see something like this this would be head and shoulders right would it have the volume signature I don't know volume signature um, I'd have to come back on it and judge it and see if we form another lower high on the two day or the weekly, excuse me, two week. Momentum's to the downside. So pressure is on to the downside still until momentum puts back up about 30,800. All right, that's it for today, guys. Help you have a blessed and kindly favored rest of your day. Take care. I'm signing out.